right, we're ready to roll here. Uh, chapter 5, Section 7. We are on day number 2. These notes are found at the bottom of the Chapter 5, Section 7 note page. We did the top uh, three-fourths of the notes for day 1, and here we are with the bottom quarter, the last little section here for day number 2. What we got going on today is I am going to give you the slope of a given line. In example one, for instance, I'm telling you that the slope of this line is 8. So I can indicate here that m, the slope of my line, is 8. I am also going to give you an ordered pair that is on the line, and what I want you to do is to write an equation in slope-intercept form that has this given slope and passes through the given point. And I want you to write it in slope-intercept form. So remember what I need for slope-intercept form. y equals mx plus b is I need m, the slope, and b, the y-intercept. I will give you the m slope in each of these examples. So in my final equation, m is going to equal 8. So what I need to do somehow is to find b, the y-intercept. How I'm going to do that is by using the x, y ordered pair that I'm given and plug that into my y equals mx plus b equation. So my y-coordinate here is going to correspond with the y-coordinate from my ordered pair. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to take the second numerical value here, y, which is 1, will equal m, which I'm told is 8, times x, which is negative 3. And then I need to find b, the y-intercept. So 1 will equal 8 times negative 3, negative 24 plus b. And then the last step to get b alone is to undo subtracting minus 24 with adding 24 to both sides. 1 and 24 makes 25 is the y-intercept. So I've got now m is 8 and b is 25, so my final equation then in slope-intercept form is y equals 8x plus 25. So to wrap it up in a couple steps, you are going to plug in the given m value and the given x and y value into y equals mx plus b, solve for b, and then write your final equation with the given m, the given slope value, in for m, the slope, and the given b value that you found using algebra to find the y-intercept. Let's see if we can do that with a couple more, and that's it for today. So I have... I'm given m is 4, the slope is 4, x-coordinate of 2, y-coordinate of 5, and I'm going to solve for b to find the y-intercept. So my y-coordinate is 5, m, the slope is 4, times x is 2, plus b. So I'll multiply m and x together. 4 times 2 is 8. To get b alone then, I'll subtract 8 from both sides. 5 minus 8, negative 3, is b, the y-intercept. So if m is 4 and b, the y-intercept, is negative 3, my final equation is y equals m, 4x, plus b, negative 3. I can go plus negative 3 or just minus 3. There we have it. Last example, I'm going to give you a negative slope. M is 
negative 2, and I have the x and y coordinates, 3 and 4 on the line. So again, I'm going to go to y equals mx plus b, plug in y is 4, m is negative 2, times x is 3, plus b. I'll multiply the m and x. Negative 2 times 3 gives me negative 6 plus b. Get b alone, I'll add 6 to both sides. 4 and 6, 10 is the y-intercept. Let's write our final equation and stick a fork in it because we'll be done. y equals m negative 2x plus b is 10. There we have it. Um, the first part of the assignment today will have questions like these. There will also be some review uh, type questions from the day one note, so don't, uh, don't freak out or get scared when you see that there are uh, other types of questions too. They're not new, they are review questions uh, to keep you sharp from the first part of uh, chapter 5, section 7. Have a good one. Thanks for your time.